Forestry is the newest update to woodcutting, and after three batches of changes, it's easier and more straightforward than ever to get into. The fundamental change with forestry is that trees are no longer competitive, so you're not fighting against other people for the same resource. Instead, trees simply have a set period of time where anyone can chop as much as they'd like before they go on a respawn timer. In fact, you get a boost to your woodcutting the more people chopping the same tree, so you definitely want to try and train woodcutting along with others, and ideally on the forestry worlds, which just have a ton of people. Some of the more popular locations include willow trees in Drainer Village, maple trees behind Sears Village, as well as some yew trees. Priftinus also has yew trees, as well as teaks and magic trees which can be found in the Myths Guild. While cutting with other people, you'll randomly see events spawning that give additional experience and the main currency for forestry, anima-infused bark. I'll go through the rewards in just a bit, but all you really need to get started is a forestry kit which you can get for free at the Freaky Forester found in Sears Village, Drainer, or Priftinus. The 2024 update has removed most of the event items and currency bloat, so now it's really just focused on uh, completing the events, which are pretty simple to figure out. So here's a quick rundown. The woodcutting plugin on Runelight helps a lot here and will highlight the main objective. Additionally, I'm going to be using Entity Hider just to make it a little easier to see what's going on. Pheasants, grab an egg from the unoccupied nest and bring it to the forester. Be careful as you will get stunned when the pheasant returns to the nest, so just move on to the next one. Feathers can be used to make the pheasant outfit or traded in for extra bark, and there is a small chance of getting a golden egg which can be used to transform the beaver pet into a pheasant. Roots. Simply chop down the anima-infused tree roots, that's it. Entlings. Give the entlings the appropriate haircut, shaving their top, sides, or back as requested. This event gives a guaranteed egg nest that can be used to hunt for the evil chicken outfit, so look out for these if you're filling your collection log. Flowers. Run between the two unpollinated flowers to cross-pollinate them. Occasionally they switch, so just find the new pairing and then keep going. Struggling sapling. Find the right combination of three fertilizer to feed to the sapling. There's five different types, so either test them out one by one just to see what works, or you can just check chat and uh, wait for somebody to call the correct combination and then just follow that. Dryad. Stand on the odd circle out. If you don't have the plugin from Runelight or maybe you're on mobile, you can also just follow the mass of people. It's really easy to tell. Beehive. Simply build the beehive with logs. You may want to bank and grab cheaper logs if you plan on using whatever log you're currently chopping or if you've just run out and you need more. The beehive parts can be used to make a beehive in your player own house or trade it in for extra bark. Fox poachers. Disarm the traps placed by the poachers. This event has a small chance of giving you the fox whistle, which transforms the beaver pet into a fox and it's definitely the thing that I'm going for uh, when I'm doing forestry. Finally, the leprechaun. Stand in the rainbow for a buff that gives bonus experience and some bark the next time you chop down logs. Unlike the Dryad event, you don't need to stand until it despawns. You can just resume chopping as soon as you get the message in chat telling you you got the buff. The Freaky Foresters have a couple of rewards to spend your bark on, most of which are actually tradable so you can sell them for some extra cash. Felling Axe Handles can be combined with regular axes to make Felling Axes, which grant 10% more experience and a 20% chance to not receive a log. This helps so you don't need a bank as much. However, this does consume forester rations for every log, which are made by combining food with the leaves you passively acquire while woodcutting, or you can just buy them from other players pretty cheap. Other rewards include secature blades, which give more leaves while chopping, ritual mulch, which will give you a bonus chance of receiving logs, the log basket, which can hold an extra 28 logs, similar to the fish barrel from Temporos, the log brace, which can combine the log basket with your forestry kit, the clothes pouch, which lets the forestry kit hold your entire lumberjack outfit as well as retain its experience boost. The cape pouch, which lets you store your woodcutting cape in the forestry kit and then retain its bonus chance for bird's nests. Twitcher's gloves, which give a 20% chance of receiving a specific bird's nest whenever you receive a bird's nest. Sawmill vouchers, which will give you an extra plank per log cut at the sawmill. And finally, you can get the entire Lumberjack outfit, which gives a total of 2.5% bonus experience when wearing it or stored in your Forcer kit, as well as the Forcer set, which is just a cosmetic variant. Personally, I've just been buying Felling Axe handles and selling them for some relatively decent cash while training woodcutting. That's it for this quick overview. Again, it is really simple now, so if you've been a little bit intimidated or put off from all the extra stuff in the previous updates, it's a lot simpler now, very straightforward, and it's definitely worth the extra experience you get when chopping from other people and actually doing the events. So have fun and good luck chopping.